let's characterize. Join me for breast ultrasound mass characterization on this episode, Breast Mass Vascularity. Breast mass vascularity is our next type of breast mass characterization, and vascularity is the blood flow patterns of a breast mass. Vascularity is when the color or the power Doppler box displays a signal, so there's color within the box, indicating that blood flow is present. The signal may be weak, which means there's little color within the box. It may be moderate, where there's a medium amount of color in the box, or strong, where there's a lot of color signal in the Doppler box. The first type of breast mass vascularity is avascularity, and this is the absence of vascularity in a mass, where there's no Doppler signal within the box. Usually this is a benign finding. Hypovascularity is our next type of breast mass vascularity. This is where there's a weak amount of blood flow, which is a small amount of color Doppler signal in the Doppler box, and this is usually a benign finding. And then there's hypervascularity. This is where there's a large amount of blood flow. The color box is filled with color Doppler signal, and this is seen in malignant masses, ductal masses, and also with infection or inflammation in the breast. Another method of characterizing breast mass vascularity is peripheral vascularity versus central vascularity of a mass. With peripheral vascularity, the blood flow occurs around the periphery or the outer edges of a mass. It's normal to have a few small vessels though taper to the center of the vessel, and usually this is a benign flow pattern. The top image on this slide represents peripheral vascularity, and you'll note that the vessels are small and they're tapered around the edges of the mass. The bottom image on this slide represents central vascularity. These are large feeding vessels that are moving towards the center of the mass, and there's a chaotic pattern to the vessels. With central vascularity, the blood flow occurs within the center of the mass, and there's large vessels branching towards the center of the mass. And these are known as feeding vessels, where the vessel enters the mass from the surrounding tissue and travels to the center of the mass. Central vascularity is usually a malignant flow pattern, but it can also be visualized in benign ductal masses and normal lymph nodes. When looking at the vascularity in a breast mass, blood flow in a mass confirms that the mass is solid tissue. It does not confirm benign versus malignant disease, however. And also, absence of blood flow in a mass does not confirm the mass is cystic because some benign solid masses are avascular. For cystic masses in the breast, there's an absence of blood flow known as avascularity. Note that moving debris in a complicated cyst can cause color or power Doppler to pick up the presence of movement. This mimics the presence of blood flow. With benign solid masses, they tend to be avascular, hypovascular, or have moderate vascularity. There's small vessels within the mass and there's peripheral vascularity, where malignant solid masses are hypervascular with large feeding vessels within the mass. There's a chaotic pattern of the vessels with central vascularity, and this is based on the concept of neoangiogenesis, and this is where malignant masses grow their own blood supply to fuel their rapid growth. Note that hard or serous cancers compress these internal vessels and display minimal vascularity. And because vessels are so small in the breast, you can have a malignant mass that does not display hypervascularity. Next, let's look at the spectral Doppler patterns of benign versus solid masses. For benign solid masses, the vascularity is a low resistance pattern. Benign masses display low resistance spectral Doppler pattern of flow with a high amount of diastolic flow in the waveform. They also display low pulsatility, and this is with higher diastolic flow, shallower slopes, and slower velocity flow. While malignant solid masses on spectral Doppler display a more high resistance pattern with little to no diastolic flow in the waveform. They also display a higher pulsatility pattern with absent or low diastolic flow, steeper slopes, and also higher velocity flow than 
than benign masses. Note that with inflammation and infection in the breast, the tissue and the mass will be hypervascular, and this is because the body increases blood flow to the area in response to the infection or inflammation. Want to learn more about ultrasound? Like, comment, subscribe, and tune in to our next videos on Wednesdays.